Harry and Meghan offered each other secret gesture to comfortably get through a slam from the public. Meghan Markle offered Prince Harry silent support during Queen Elizabeth II's funeral, according to a body language expert. On 19 September, thousands of mourners and members of the royal family attended the state's funeral at Westminster Abbey. During an interview about the event, funeral guest and attorney Pranav Banot opened up about a few of the moments he witnessed, including ones that were between Meghan and Harry. I noticed just how supportive Harry was to Meghan. When they went their separate directions after the ceremony, he gave her a firm squeeze of the hand. I felt he wanted to ensure she felt comfortable, Bernot said. Later on in the day, the couple sat next to Prince William, Kate Middleton and their two older children, Prince George and Princess Charlotte, at the committal ceremony for the late monarch. In fact, Meghan also seemed to offer a continuation of that silent support to her husband while sitting and walking with a look of dignity tinged with sadness. Body language expert and author Judy James also noted that the couple's much-discussed hand-holding, for which they have received some flack, was kept to a minimum, although they did appear to touch hands as they walked together out of the service. According to James, the Duke of Sussex appeared to be struggling the most during the service for his beloved grandmother. Walking beside, but a large distance apart from his brother, Prince William, his puckered brows and rapid blinking suggested the onset of tears, she said. When he watched the coffin being unloaded there was the sucking in of the lips, rocking from side to side and shoulder roll that he had performed before to suggest he was bracing himself emotionally, she added. In addition, Meghan Markle appeared to keep her distance from Princess Kate and her children while paying tribute to Queen Elizabeth II. The Duchess of Sussex opted to stand slightly away from the Princess of Wales and Prince George and Princess Charlotte, as well as Queen Consort Camilla during the Westminster Abbey service. Meghan's physical distance could have been for a variety of reasons, according to body language expert Blanca Cobb, one of which is her continued tension with the royal family. While Meghan appeared somewhat detached from her sister-in-law and stepmother-in-law, 75, during Monday's events, her body language was respectful toward the late royal. She was photographed gently wiping away tears while her lip quivered as the late Queen's coffin was transferred into a hearse at Wellington Arch. However, several outlets have accused Meghan of faking her tears during the funeral, with many pointing out that as an actress, inauthentic crying would be well within her capabilities. Of course, no one other than Meghan can know what she was feeling during ceremony. Public's contempt for Meghan has frequently been on display throughout the official period of mourning. Whether it's common as refusing to shake the Duchess hand or bizarre vitriol over Harry's displays of affection for his wife, it often seems that the hatred toward Meghan has been worse than ever in recent weeks. And now, Harry and Meghan's harshest critics are reveling in two gestures that could be interpreted as signs of disrespect toward the California couple. Many social media users also expressed how the criticism about their hand-holding was a double standard, since the Queen's granddaughters Ara Tyndall and her husband, Mike Tyndall, also walked hand-in-hand -hand when exiting the service at Westminster. A lot of people think that it's beautiful and warm, and they're holding hands. They're not just holding hands with love, Harry has gone into bodyguard mode, Dr. Marla explained. Dr. Marla added, it doesn't feel loving, necessarily, to me, it feels like a couple at war who are trying to get through a bombing. Like